Welcome to our five on five. We're pleased to welcome back John Javna, the co-founder of the Neighborhood Food Project. John, good to see you. How are you today? Greg, it's nice to see you again. Thanks for coming back. So tomorrow you guys are going to hit a pretty big number. Tell people how much food you've been able to collect. Well, in the seven years since the food project started, and it started in Ashland in 2009, um, we've collected now, well, we'll have collected on Saturday, two million pounds of food. Now that's two million pounds of food, one bag at a time, one green bag yeah. at a time. It's about 160,000 bags, and it could feed about 1.6 million people. Well, 1.6 million meals. Wow. Well done. Thank you. So this started out as the Ashland Food Project, and as you said, as, as I introduced you, Neighborhood Food Project now. Tell, us how, tell everybody how it's expanded out. Well, the, it started as a sort of an experiment to see whether or not it was possible to collect food from people who wanted to help but just didn't get around to it and get it to the Ashland Emergency Food Bank. And uh, to our surprise, it was extremely successful. Right now, about 25% of the town of Ashland is signed up to, to participate wow. in the Ashland Food Project. And we thought, well, if it worked in Ashland, it must be able to work in other places. So we went to Talent and in Medford, and the Medford Food Project includes Jacksonville and Central Point, and we built it out there, and uh, Phoenix and uh, Eagle Point. And now there are seven communities that participate, and we bring in about 100 and, oh, uh, I guess, about 65,000 pounds every two months, mm -hmm. and, and 350 or 360,000 pounds every year. Wow. And that, that all goes to about 21 food banks okay. in, in the, the, the region. But so really it stays local. It stays yeah. local. It, if it's picked up in Phoenix, it stays in Phoenix. Mm. Um, if it's picked up in Ashland, it stays in Ashland. It's an important thing because people want to help their neighbors. They want to share food with their neighbors. And we understood that and made it possible. Now, I want to add, though, that, that um, the food project concept is now in 50 communities around in 11 states. Wow. So the idea is really catching on. And we expect that in a year or two, it'll be in thousands of communities. And it all started here in Jackson County. Incredible. So what kind of staff do you have? Obviously, you have a ton of volunteers. How many paid people are on staff? We have no paid people, zero. It's an all-volunteer organization. And it's actually the largest volunteer organization that has ever existed in uh, Jackson County. We wow. have 7,000 volunteers. And, uh, you know, I, 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 can I take this opportunity to, to thank all those yes, volunteers? Please. You know, this is, this, is an amazing, this is an amazing project that, that amazing people have made possible. And we could only do it because people really care about their neighbors. And those neighbors are the, the, the people who live in Jackson County. And the people who care are those 7,000 people who have, have pitched in uh, year after year, because it's seven years now. Um, and, and provided food. So two million pounds, that two million, million pounds is, is because of, of our volunteers and our amazing residents of Jackson County. Congratulations to you and to all of them, very nice. All right, we're gonna take a quick break, have much more in a moment, stay with us.